Wait, what's their name? Grassy Pussy Packer Nation! Welcome to an episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom, the Tom Grassies, Grassi. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about just a plethora of things. Ooh, it bounced back. Uh, one being the Washington Redskins' new name, the Washington football team. Yep, we'll tackle that. Antonio Brown doesn't want to retire, and the Green Bay Packers are finalists for the 2024 NFL Draft. Before we get to that, I want to do a big shout-out and thank you to some brand-new patrons over at patreon.com slash Comedy and a new YouTube member. First, we got Seattle caught the fail Mary. Ha, made you say it. You still didn't run it on the one. Then we got Brian Pirtle, and we got Fabian Meyer up and from the $5 to the $10 tier, which gets his name in the credits. Thank you. Also, a big shout and thank you to a brand new YouTube member, VJ Swearingen. A big shout out and thank you for an awesome name. So let's start off with the best news of the day. The team formerly known as the Washington Redskins will from now on, at least temporarily, go as the Washington football team. This name is about as spicy as a white woman's potato salad. So apparently in the press release today, the Washington football team said that they are taking the season, so this will be a name that will last through the 2020 to 21 season to get input from players, alumni, fans, the community, and sponsors. Well, whoever's running their PR now did a much better job with this one putting sponsors last, considering when they first announced the name change, they put sponsors first two times. So they probably heard the internet backlash and was like, oh man, we just seem like we're money-grubbing, greedy a-holes who are just doing this for appearances. Oh man, we should change that. So for their jerseys, their mock-ups are online right now. You can see guys like Dwayne Haskins in the mock-up and it just has like Washington embroidered on it. And instead of the logo, it actually has the number on the helmet and they're still going with the burgundy and gold color scheme, which I will say doesn't look the worst. I actually kind of like the number on the helmet look. I mean, they're no Seattle Krakens, but it's pretty good. And how I feel about this is honestly, did we expect anything else? It's Dan Snyder here. This is a win-win-win for him because already, as predicted, no one's talking about the sexual harassment allegations that were going on from last week. Two, he is going to be selling these jerseys, so he's still going to make a bunch of money for this season because people are going to buy them, I guess, because they'll be collectibles when they stop making them because they're discontinuing the Washington Redskins memorabilia logo, name, etc., and it'll be gone by the time the season starts. And then he'll make even more money when they actually release the new name in a year. Some of my favorite things about this, though, is the way that you find out about the name change is you have to go to redskins.com slash Washington football. And when you're there, on the bottom of the page, there's a jersey giveaway to win a Washington football team jersey. And at the very bottom, you then have to basically click accept to receive emails from the Washington Redskins organization. So oh, it's just it's just poetry. So if you're asking me in a year from now, when the Washington football team has had the time to really think, ponder, and create an innovative, awesome new name. Are they going to do it well? Most likely not. I'm willing to be wrong, and I hope I am wrong, but this was definitely a first step. And that being said, like, again, they need to take months to trademark things and figure out what they're actually going to do here. But yeah, I think it's just funny because... It's literally the Washington football team. In other news, let's talk about Antonio Brown for literally 10 seconds. Yeah, so remember how we talked about at the end of the video on Tuesday how Antonio Brown wanted to retire again from the NFL? Well, spoilers, that's already done. Apparently on a post on Instagram, he doesn't want to retire. Instead, he calls out the NFL for dragging its feet for its investigation into him that there are teams waiting to hear from the NFL because they are just knocking on the door of Antonio Brown and he wants to play again. So that retirement lasted all of two minutes. Can we please stop talking about Antonio Brown just for a hot second? I guess the album didn't sell as well as he wanted it to. 
And to finish this up with some potential great news, the Green Bay Packers had their shareholder meeting today, and in it, Mark Murphy announced that the Green Bay Packers are finalists to host the 2024 NFL Draft. The Packers have been trying to get the draft to come to Lambeau Field for a long, long time. And the reason why they'll never have a Super Bowl there, quite honestly, is just hotel space. They're not going to be able to do it. And plus, it's freezing, freaking fracking cold. But it was mostly just they didn't have the accommodations to get all those people. They've been building up Tile Town for quite some time now, so now they'll actually be able to host the draft. And I have to say, right here, right now, if the Green Bay Packers get the 2024 NFL Draft, I am going to host the biggest freaking draft party that the world has ever seen in Green Bay. It is going to be amazing if we can all come into contact with each other once again. So that is something I am very much looking forward to. But if 2020 is any indicator, it probably will just wind up backfiring and the Vikings will get it. I don't even know if they're in the running, but they'll probably get it. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think about the brand new Washington football team? Just such an innovative name or any of the other topics we talked about here. Let me know. You can always find me at TomGrassyComedy.com or at TomGrassyComedy on all social media. See down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play music spotify and of course youtube and a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at patreon.com slash tom grassi county and the youtube members but thank you so much for watching i'm tom grassi and as always go back go